Hello and welcome to another video in the Godot series. Today I wanted to create a parallax background. So let's get started. For this video I've created a simple player with an animated sprite and a script that makes him move left to right. If you look at the script here the player can just move and it has an animation and it flips the h value just to make it a little bit more appealing. So if we run this script now you can see that the player can move left and right and nothing else happens. So to create our parallax background, the first thing we have to do is let the camera follow the player. The easy way to do this is just move the camera to let it be a child of the player. So if we do it like this, now the camera is a child of the player node. And if we run a script now, then the camera moves with the player. That's because this script, that's because the script for the player makes it move left and right and the camera is now a child of it. But I wanted to let a separate script control the camera. So it looks a little bit more neat when we add the parallax background. So put the camera back and now we can just create a script on the main scene. And what we can do then is create a method which is, and we use the process function. And then we can just say, we first have to reference the player and the camera. So we say on ready var camera, it's camera 2D. And then we have the on ready var player, which is the player. And now in the process, we can say that the camera position X should be the same as the player position X. So if you run it now, you see that the camera still follows the player, but now it's a separate entity. Okay, let's start with the parallax background. So for this example, I've got three backgrounds that create a scrolling parallax effect. So let's start with the first background little bit big, we can change the size. And we have our second background. It shouldn't be a child. Five, we had point minus three for the Z index. And then the last one, which also not be a child. And this can be minus two. Okay, let's line them up a little bit. So now we can see the effect here of the parallax. So now we've got our background. And if we play it now, we're pressing F5 for the play button. You see that the background just stays still and the player still moves. The effect we want to create, the effect we want to create is that the trees move faster than the mountain and the mountain moves faster than the background. So we can go to into our main scene script and let's start referencing our backgrounds. See that the naming is not really consistent. So what we want to do now is move the background on the x-axis slower than the player moves. So if we if we would say camera X is player position X, it would just follow the player. Take some more. Oh, position, position, X. So now it will now it will follow the player. But we want it to slowly. We don't want it to move as fast as the player. So what we do then is we keep track of the 
distance the camera is away from its starting position and we can we can do that by by on the on the beginning of the script we we check what the x position of the camera is and then we calculate the distance when the camera moves so we have a far starting position camera x and then in the beginning we say starting position camera x is camera position x so now we have the starting position of the camera so what we have to do then is from the starting position camera x we have to subtract the current camera position in in the loop so so then we can calculate the distance so let's say movement x is starting camera position x minus camera position x and if we now put the background one position x to the movement x it will go in opposite direction at the same speed as you can see So this already gives a nice effect, but we don't want it to go at the same speed as the player. So then we have to add a parallax effect modifier. So let's create a parallax effect. Because it now moves in the same, at the same speed in the opposite direction, we have to apply a modifier to make it go not as fast as the player so we can simply do times 0.2 and if we run it now it will go slower in the opposite direction nice our first background is done N now we can basically do the same to the other uh, background so let's get the other background And we want the other backgrounds, the background that is closer to the player, we want it to go faster. So the modifier should be less. Like this. And now you can see here on the end that if I run back, You have this nice effect of the first, the trees background to move faster than the mountains and faster than the stars. So now we multiply it more, but just to see the effect, so the trees will move a lot faster than the mountain now. We run it now. As you can see the distance here between the trees and the mountains is way further than the trees in the background. So you can tweak with these numbers to do whatever you like to make it look nice. And this is just a very simple way to create a parallax background. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.